Hello, good evening, good afternoon. Well, it's dinner time. It's good afternoon. How are you all doing? Welcome to Maggie's Kitchen. Thank you guys for watching and keeping me alive. You know, if it's not for y'all, I will not be continuing doing videos. You know, I see that y'all been liking and I have a lot of of you you know that y'all shared my video and thank you for all you know for visiting my channels and thank you for liking it you know you you make me so happy and i love you guys thank you so much keep liking it you know keep liking my videos and think you know keep subscribing to my channels and you know and please keep sharing and keep subscribing i also do videos in my home like Haitian in Creole, you know, because I do give them new stuff, you know, translate for them from English to, from Creole, I'm sorry, to English. If you see that the video, you click on it, it's in Creole, please disregard. But most likely the cooking channel, you know, my kitchen is always going to probably, about 99% of the time, going to be in English. But the other one is when I do other type of news to my community, you know, my Haitian community. I love them very much. And I also love the American community. You know, I've been living here for more than 20 something years, 25 years. So I love you guys. And I also love my Haitian community. So I'm also helping them. So if you click on some videos, you see it's Creole. That's what it is, you know, because I try to translate as much as possible when I find a good news. Well, today, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to do something very quick for dinner, but it's different. We don't always have to be eating, like, food that we used to. Sometimes we need to step out of our culture and visit other culture and learn and do other stuff. What I'm about to cook today is okra. Look at that. You see? Y'all see? It's okra. Okra is originally from Africa. It is widely used in cuisine such as Caribbean, Creole, Cajun, and Indian. It is also known as bendy or lady fingers in reference to the long, elegantly tapering shape. Okra is very good. I heard it's good. If you're diabetic, oh my gosh, I heard it would bring your sugar down like that if you follow certain regimen. You would have to go online to see how to use it if you're diabetic, you know? But okra is filled with, you know, it, it, it has like only 7.3 gram of carbohydrate. It has two gram of protein. It has zero cholesterol. It's diet, it has a dietary fiber of 9%. It has all type of vitamins. You know, let me look at this. You see, it has ni niacin, all type of good riboflavin, thiamine, vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin K, which is clotting factor. Sodium is not a lot. Potassium. It has minerals, calcium, copper, iron, magnesium. You see all these good stuff okras are good for? So, you know, let's, let's, let, 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 let's begin. Let me show you. Remember I taught you in lesson 101 how to make your... Haitian apis and another word for okra in my country in Haiti we call okra Kalalu not the Kalalu from Jamaica Jamaican they have Kalalu which is almost like a spinach but okra in Creole we call it Kalalu remember I taught you how to make apis if you go if you didn't watch my video go learn it you know you put one tablespoon oops, let me put it back one tablespoon of oil I'm gonna go fast after you put one tablespoon of oil I put like a tablespoon of my apis that I made. The apis that I made, one tablespoon. And look, one tablespoon of tomato paste. You know, one tablespoon of oil, you put a little black pepper, depend to your taste. And um, I'm moving fast because I don't want to keep the video too long. Look some garlic or if you want to do fresh garlic that's fine too a little garlic a little um let's see here i thought i had okay chili powder or paprika you put like a little sprinkle you know of that and um we have fresh parsley and um, also let me get it if you can find a no 
zero MSG, good luck, of chicken bouillon. If you can't, if you don't have to use it, don't use it. So you see, after I let my A piece that I created, which is the spice, you put a little tomato paste, look at it, you see? You, all, you put all that together in the pot. After that, I got some okra, look at that. You see the okra? Take some fresh okra, the well not fresh, it's frozen this one, look at it, you see? You put it in the pot. After you put it in the pot, you let it simmer. And then, after you let it simmer a little bit, you know, you could put a drop, a little bit of water. And let it cook. You can eat that as a side dish, or you can eat it over rice. And I'm going to put this after it's almost done. I could put a little onions, fresh onion, but I'm always cooking with thymes. Look at that. Very delicious. You put that. You see, it's going to simmer. And this is the last version. This is the rice. Look, I have, this is the rice I cook. You see, we're gonna put that over rice. Look at that. This is rice, and this is my fi final version of my okra. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that, once it's cooked, what you want, I put some meat, I had some, this is some turkey I put. Look at that, some red peppers, some onions, if you like that crispy thing, you know, this is the one that I'm cooking right now, the smaller version, but I just needed to show you. This is what we're gonna be eating today for dinner. So, what you do, let me show you. It is delicious, it's gonna be delicious. It's already delicious, you know? So, let's see here, I didn't have thing. I'm gonna take a little bit of rice, put in here, you see my rice is very fluffy. I don't like saggy rice. I didn't have a bigger thing. You see, you have rice, a little rice. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of that okra. It's going over my rice. Oh my God, I like that crispy feeling when I'm eating. I take a little onions and a little bit of red peppers and it's very spicy. You know, that's my version. Look at that. I put meat in it. If you have leftovers, meat, any type. So look at that. Now, I'm going to try to taste it a little bit. 